Welcome to the recap. Today we will see a 2009 Australian horror movie named The Loved Ones. Spoiler alert. The movie starts with a boy named Brent who's driving a car. He's in the car with his dad and they're talking. Suddenly, a blood-soaked boy comes in front of their car. And in order to save him, their car gets crashed into a tree. This accident causes the sudden death of Brent's father. 6 months later, we are shown that Brent is turned to recreational cannabis because of his father's death and blames himself for the tragedy. A razor blade was kept hidden and hung to his necklace, using which he used to punish himself by making cuts on his hand. There is a girl in Brent's college named Lola Stone who invites him to the prom night of the college. But Brent rejects the proposal because he has some other plans with his girlfriend Holly. After a quick sex in the car, Holly goes to drop Brent at his house and leaves him at a distance. Getting off the car, Brent tells Holly that Lois Stone had invited him to the prom dance. When he gets in his house, his mother asks him that how will he go to the prom night? He responds to it saying, "He will go by Holly's car." His mother forbids him, doing so suggesting to take a hired car. As according to her, a trained driver is more expert in driving. His mother was in depression after her husband died. As he thinks that Brent is responsible for his father's death. Brent had to face all the restrictions put up by his mother on him. And now she forbids him to drive the car. He gets mentally disturbed hearing this and leaves the place. Taking his dog with him, he goes to a cliff to commit suicide. But he changes his mind and stops himself from committing the suicide and then he begins listening to some music sitting there on the cliff. After a while, he receives his mother's call. Just as he was going to pick up the call, he gets knocked out and abducted by someone from behind. Putting him into a pickup truck, that kidnapper takes him away. While searching for her son, Brent's mother reaches at the same cliff because she knows that he would have surely come here, but she does not find him even after her efforts. On the other side, Holly reaches Brent's home to go to the prom dance after getting ready. She knocks at the door of Brent's house. Suddenly Brent's mother arrives there from behind. She immediately asks, "Where is Brent?" But Holly is also unaware of him. Then his mother calls Paul, who is their neighbor and also a police officer. She tells him about Brent who is missing. But he does not takes this to be serious. Because Brent was habitual at doing so. He thinks it's serious only when she informs Paul that their dog too has been attacked by someone. Their dog had been beaten brutally by someone. Holly is taking the dog to the hospital but it dies on the way. Then we see the same pickup truck again. in which Brent was taken away after being kidnapped there is a dead animal on the road and that truck driver picks it up then that truck gets stopped at a house and we notice Lola Stone and her father Eric are inside it and they were the ones who kidnapped Brent Lola Stone is in her room and her father Eric brings a dress for her she starts putting on her dress before her father itself who keeps staring at her continuously coming to his senses Brent finds himself seated on a chair in a nice suit Both father and daughter are seated in front of Brent. And there was a old lady too, whom they were calling bright eyes. There was a strange mark on her forehead. Brent tries to flee from there, but he was roped tightly. He notices that they have decorated their house in imitation of a prom. They arranged all this to have their own prom night. And Lola kidnapped Brent after he turned her down for the prom night. She then infuses a packed peroxide needle into Brent's vocal cords. As a result, his vocal cords get damaged, and now he cannot shout. Then Eric starts clicking photos of both of them together. And then he again clicks photo of them with bright eye. Here it's seen that Lola Stone is not comfortable with bright eye around. Now they are all dining except bright eyes. And Lola Stone tries to shove down the food into her mouth. It gets clear here that she is not her mother because Lola is misbehaving with her. Bright eyes, too is one of their captives. After bright eyes, she moves to Brent and tries to feed chicken to him forcefully. But Brent keeps his mouth shut. Then she teases him with the KFC slogan, saying, "It's finger licking good." But Brent doesn't respond to her single word. Then Eric brings a hammer. And while Lola Stone questions Brent, Eric beats the hammer on the table forcefully. So Brent starts giving response in compulsion. He responds nodding. As he nods, then she asks him to lick her finger. Brent has to lick her finger because her father is seated in front of him with a hammer. Then Brent shows urge to go to the lavatory, but Lola tells him to use a glass instead. while emptying it he does not do as such because he did not need to pee he was just making the excuse so that he escapes from there eric comes with a hammer to him and then he tells brent that i had killed your dog with this hammer and nail showing the nails eric threatens brent that if he does not urinate within 10 seconds he will nail him 
Then both father and daughter starts the counting in reverse. Consequently, Brent urinates. In retaliation, Brent kicks Lola, who then falls back. Then he runs out from there releasing himself. While running outside, he hides himself under their pickup truck. Eric pursues him and starts his pickup truck getting inside. He notices Brent while reversing his pickup truck. Then he drives his pickup truck after him hysterically. Just in time as Brent was going to be thrashed, Brent climbs up a tree and that pickup truck gets crashed with the tree. At the same time, Lola arrives there and both Lola and her sadistic father, starts throwing stones at Brent. A stone gets hit on his head. And Brent falls down the tree, losing his senses. Picking him up, they take him inside. Then they pierced, the knives into his feet adjusting him on the chair. So that he may not escape again. Meanwhile Paul, who is looking for Brent at the cliff, finds his earbuds and cell phone lying there. He hands over them Holly and his mother. Then Lola Stone shows a scrapbook to Brent. It gets revealed here, that she has been doing all this, since many years and it is not her first time. This madness, has been an integral part of their life since Lola was a child. His insane father used to bring boys for her, after kidnapping. At first, she enjoys with them and then tortures them. It was obvious even in case of Brent too that he was destined to face the same consequence, had he accepted the proposal of the prom night by her. Then pointing at a page in her scrapbook, Lola tells him, about a boy named Timmy Valentine who had escaped from her earlier. He was the same boy whom we saw at the beginning of the movie, who had come before Brent's car resulting to his father's death. Then Brent realizes, that the boy was not the cause of his father's death rather these insane father and daughter duo were the reason. Timmy Valentine was the son of the police officer Paul Valentine. The victim of this year was Brent as per their scrapbook. And one of his photos was pasted in it too, while a place for another one was still blank. As they still have to click his pick after he gets tortured. Then we see Lola, scribbling something on Brent's body while her father appreciates her on her artistic skills. She carves a heart on his body writing the initials of her name on it. She has been doing this since her childhood. And was used of carving a heart on everyone's body, scribbling the letters LMs. Which met Lola Stone. After this, they were seen sprinkling salt on his wounds. And with this Brent's agony intensifies. Then Eric announces the name of the prom queen. And as per the sadistic duo, Lola Stone is selected as queen of the prom night amongst all the other girls. The sadistic duo wants to celebrate this moment so they forced Brent to blow a whistle. Then the queen of the prom night gets crowned. Eric again takes their photo. Now, as per the duo, it is the time to dance. Brent was forced to dance, with knives still pinned to his feet, but Lola was not feeling the connection, dancing with Brent and she admits having incestuous feelings, and starts dancing with her father. She realizes that her father is her real prince. They almost kissed but got interrupted by Brent. Then they start slaying the animal they picked up from the road. After which Eric opens a trapdoor on the floor, and starts pouring some water in it. Different sounds were being heard from the basement cellar behind the trapdoor. Eric takes out a drill machine from the tool case and he gives it to his daughter. She drills a hole in Brent's forehead. This was the same mark as was observed on Bright Eye's forehead. She drills a big hole into his skull. Now they want to pour in the boiling water through the hole they made into his skull. To lobotomize him. After which he too, will become like Bright Eyes and be thrown into the basement cellar. As were the previous victims, still kept captive in the cellar. They move ahead to pour the boiling water but the hole seems small to them. Then Eric starts drilling the hole again to expand it. But gets attacked by Brent with a razor blade, which Brent always keeps hanging to his neck and was using it to open his strings. Then taking out the knife from his feet, he kills Eric and throws him into the basement cellar, and the captives start eating his body. Brent is still in shock seeing this and seeking the opportunity, the furious Lola manages to throw him inside. After that she notices her father is dead and gets insane. Then she shuts the trapdoor. Brent finds a flashlight inside and turns it on, as soon as he does that he too gets attacked by the captives. But manages to kill all of them with the knife. There he notices the heap of bones piled up. While Lola kills Bright Eyes in anger. On the other side, Holly gets reminded of, what Brent told her about the invitation, he got from Lola Stone for the prom night. She informs Paul about it who immediately moves to the House of Stone family. Reaching at Lola Stone's house, Paul peeps through the door, and sees the pool of blood. Breaking the door, he gets inside. Brent hears that and realizes, someone is here to help. He starts making noises and Paul notices and finds the source of it. As he opens the trap door, the same time, Lola Stone attacks him with a tool killing and throwing him down. Brent gets hold of the pistol, which Paul was carrying and starts firing at her. But the bullets get wasted. 
as she dodges it getting aside. Then she informs Brent that she is going to his house to kill his mother, as she had killed his father. Then after, she is going to finish his girlfriend Holly. Saying this she leaves, and starts walking down the roads as she does not know to drive a car. Brent starts thinking about getting out, as soon as possible, and an idea clicks his mind, he starts piling up the dead bodies one upon another and climbs out of the basement cellar. Holly is heading towards Lola's house too. And they both confront each other on the way. Lola, when notices Holly, she throws her scrapbook on the car she was driving, causing Holly to immediately apply the brakes. She goes inside the car and assaults Holly, but Holly fights back. Brent also arrives there, he was driving Paul's car at full speed to a stop Lola. Suddenly, Holly appears in front of the car but Brent manages to save her. While unintentionally hitting Lola stone by the side of his car. Holly, then gets into the car and gets afraid seeing the condition of Brent. Then, Lola is seen in the rear view mirror, crawling to them with a knife in her hand, even though her legs were broken. Brent reverses his car in full speed and hits Lola stone to death. Brent, then returns to her mother, and the movie ends here.